to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my July book haul. So this month I did really really well, I just had three pre-orders and one book that I ordered accidentally which I will go through in a moment but let's just get straight on into it. So the first book I got was a pre-order and it's Lost Boy by Christina Henry. Now I was really excited when I found out Christina Henry was releasing another retelling because I loved her Alice retellings. This is a retelling, as you can probably tell, of Peter Pan, told from the view of James, aka Captain Hook. And it's basically all about how Captain Hook became to be, how he was once a lost boy like all the others, he was in fact the original, and how he slowly began to grow up and realise Peter Pan isn't really what everyone thinks he is. And basically this is quite good, it's quite gory, Christine Henry kind of does these kind of gory kind of horror t retellings of fairy tales which is why I love them so much but yeah this is really good if you're wanting kind of like a real twist on Peter Pan and have Peter Pan as kind of the villain and Captain Hook as the good guy I would definitely go for this it is just so amazing and I read this in about two days because I was just hooked so much Next one is another pre-order and that was Because You Love To Hate Me and this is just a short story collection by lots of different authors and it's also got some commentary by booktube authors as well. And basically this is stories of villains, some of them I weren't too keen on but others I loved. I loved the ones by V.E. Schwab which was about death, I loved the one by Samantha Shannon and I loved the one about Medusa, I can't remember who wrote that. But that has such a good kind of like, well it makes you think because basically, I don't want to give it away, but Medusa gets raped and then she gets turned into Medusa because she let that guy rape her and it's the whole thing of blaming the victim kind of thing. And I really loved how they put that in here and made you rethink the whole Medusa myth. But yeah, I would give this a go if you love your villains, there's some Sherlock Holmes, when in fact it's Shirley Holmes. It's, it's, it's just really good, some of them I didn't really like but others I loved. So the next one is my last pre-order and that's All That She Can See by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Now this is Carrie Hope Fletcher's second novel, she did On The Other Side last year and this one basically follows a young woman who can see people's feelings and she seems to have this sort of power that she can see them but she can put her good feelings into food so that she can get rid of everyone's bad feelings which I thought was a really good concept but it kind of all goes to pot when she meets this guy called Chase who has the same power as her as if he creates kind of mischief he sees all he sees everyone's good feelings so he kind of feels bad about himself because he's like why can't I feel like that so he takes all these good feelings away from people this all gets out of control and they kind of get into trouble but I really really liked it it's a good improvement from her first novel and I was hooked again I only read this in a couple of days but I will go into this more when I do my wrap up because it is a really good book now the next one is one that I ordered accidentally this um, is Heartless by Marissa Mayer this was basically the winner's choice for my book depository giveaway so when I ordered it instead of ordering it to her address I forgot to change the address and it came to mine. So I thought, I want this book anyway, I might as well just get two copies, one comes to my address, one goes to hers. So this is my copy, so I'm glad to finally have it and I've also got the hardback a US copy as well, because I'm not really keen on the UK copy. But yeah, I can't wait to give this a go. Basically, if you don't know already, this is a retelling of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland and I've heard lots of things, I've heard that lots of people kind of cry at the end, it's kind of an unhappy ending, so I just can't wait to give this a go, I will probably get this read after the book I'm currently reading. So yeah, that's it for this book haul, August may be a bit longer because recently we've been having this little incentive at work where you can win vouchers and so far I've won about £25-£30 worth of Amazon vouchers and you can guess that all that is going to spend on books, so I may just do like a kind of Amazon book haul, but yeah, I shall get on now because I'm rambling. Um, as usual, if you want to comment below you can do. Have you read any of these books? What did you think to them? Also, you can like or subscribe to my channel and I will leave all my social media down below. So I will see you later with a new video. Bye!